So go to, we've been at the club a couple of weeks now, how have you found your time? Well, lots to catch up when I, when I arrive, but uh, well, I think uh, we have done a hard work in, uh, in the first two weeks to, to make sure we, we get things moving and uh, we, don't, we do a few signings, so it's have been done and uh, so now I had the opportunity to put my feet under the table and, uh, and yeah, to work uh, mostly on the recruitment at the moment. And did you know anything about Barnsley before you came and how have you found the town so far? Well, I, I knew it was a <laughs> club in England uh, called Barnsley FC, but uh, I didn't know, didn't know much about, uh, about the club and, uh, and uh, about specific area around Barnsley. I used to, to live in Yorkshire for a few months, so, but I didn't come to this specific part of Yorkshire. So. And we've seen some new players come, in, come into the side quite quickly. And you've had quite a role to play in that. Can you tell us, you know, how, how, how that's gone, how the negotiations and everything have gone, and you found in England? Well, good. I mean, it's uh, exactly the same process than, uh, than in France, so nothing really changed. Just, uh, we're, just, we're just doing it in English, but it's the, the only difference. And uh, no, it was good. As I said uh, previously, we just wanted to, to make it quick, and uh, everybody at the club has done a a huge work on that to make uh, Lindsay and McGeehan really quick, so it's good. And has your sole focus been on recruitment since you've come in, or ha have you had to change anything else about the club? Well, yeah, unfortunately I have to, to focus 100% uh, of my time at the moment on the recruitment because uh, well, we have a short uh, period of time to, to make it happen, and uh, so I didn't have the, the opportunity to, to work on the, the other parts of the business, the communication, marketing, and commercial, but uh, I will have plenty of time after after the after we are completed our recruitment. So, but yeah, the moment it's mostly recruitment. So, what fans want to know with uh, with the recruitment? Can you tell us will be some more players coming in soon? Yeah, definitely. We'll definitely sign some more players. We we know exactly the position and the profile that we are looking for. We have already targeted uh, the player we want for for each position. So, yeah, definitely. Quite a, quite a few signings, but um, some of the deals are pretty ready to go, some other will take a little more more time, but uh, yeah, something will happen in the future, for sure. And it's quite well known that we've got quite an extensive recruitment team in place here. Have you worked well with them so far? Yeah, really well. I mean, everybody everybody is playing his, uh, his role in the, in the recruitment process. I mean, Paul, of course, the scouting department, myself and... Uh, and the people of the board also are, are really involved in this process and uh, I think we, we improved this process and now we, everybody knows what he has to do and uh, we are quicker than two weeks ago. How's your work been with, with Paul? Has he, has he told you what players he wanted and then you've just gone to look for them? Well, Paul obviously knows exactly the position he's looking for and the profile he's looking for. Then the scouting department is giving us few options. For, for each position and then uh, and then yeah my job is to is to see what kind of deal is possible for, for this player we want and uh, and obviously to to get clearance for the board for what is possible to do what is not possible to do but uh, and yes yeah, sometime uh, because of my network abroad sometimes I put some names on, on the list but uh, everybody knows what he has to do in this process so it's quite clear now. We haven't really looked abroad for many players over the last few years. Is that something we are going to start to look at now with your network? It's possible. I mean, we are looking at a UK player, international player. I mean, everything is possible. Now, I, I can't assure you that we will have a player coming from abroad. We have been looking at a few of them. And, uh, I mean, Paul and, and me, we, we, don't, uh, we don't judge a player or if he's coming from UK or coming from France or Belgium or anywhere. So we'll, we'll take the best player we can and the player we can afford. So some of them could come from abroad, but maybe all of them will come from UK, we'll see. And we've got quite a young and exciting squad, haven't we? So is that the sort of, are we looking for more of that type of player? Well, I mean, the club has, a, has his own model. So the model of the club is obviously we can't really afford championship player with the experience of the championship. So what we are trying to achieve is buying and signing the best player in the lower league or from abroad, develop them 
and then, of course, uh, increase the value. I mean, Paul is really into this model as well, so it's really something that everybody at the club is aware of, so everybody is involved in this process, and Paul is probably one of the best managers to, to develop the, the player like that. So, so yeah, we, we will always be looking for players of the same kind, and uh, it showed in the future that uh, it works, so it will, it will work again. And of course, with that, with the development of players, we, we tend to get a lot of interest in our own players from other clubs, don't we? And there's been quite a lot of speculation recently regarding some of our first team players. So is there any sort of message you can give to the fans about them? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always a good, uh, good sign when, uh, when other clubs look at your player. It means, means your player has been developed well and, uh, and uh, other people want them to play. So it's a good sign. Again... In every football club in the world, you could never, never keep all of your players. It's, it's uh, the rule of the game, so we just have to, to deal with it. And uh, yeah, we have we, we received interest for for one of our players in particular, Mark Roberts. And uh, we all know in the club, even if I'm not there for for a long time, we all know that uh, it's an important player in the squad, but uh, also it's an important person because it's uh, it's our captain. He come from here, so. Despite the fact he just have one year left on his contract, we want to be sure that uh, if he has to leave, we have to we have to protect the interest of the club and he has to be for his actual value. So we have been working on that. Uh, everybody at the club has been working on that to to be sure that uh, if Robo goes, well, he will go for the good reason and uh, our interest will be protected. And sometimes players try to force their move. How, how's Mark been about that interest? Well, I had a, I had a quick chat with Mark and, uh, and Paul. And uh, honestly, in my short career in the, in the sports industry, I've, I've not met lots of uh, p- people like Mark because he was really professional. He still feels like a bouncy player at the moment, despite all the noises around. And... Uh, if he has to go, I'm, I'm sure he will, he will stay a Barnsley player until the last second. So he's really professional and, uh, and everybody at the club appreciate that. And other interest, another name that the fans will be keen to hear about is Andy Yeardon. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, like everybody, uh, I hear the noises, but uh, at the moment it's, it's just noises. And uh, Andy is a really important player and uh, he has been an important player last season. And uh, and I think and I know for sure that Paul would like him to to have an important role next season. So we'll 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 be discussing with Andy in the next few days. And uh, and uh, at the moment uh, I can tell you that uh, in our mind Andy will still be a bouncer player next season, and we'll we'll try to to propose him a new deal. And similarly to Mark, how, how's he how's he felt about that? How's Andy's discussions with you gone so far? Well, I didn't really get the opportunity to to speak properly with Andy uh, yet, but uh, I'm sure I will have the opportunity in the next few days. And how's your relationship been with Paul then since you've come in? You've spoken on it a little bit. You've spoken quite a lot, but did you have a chance to meet him before you joined as well? Yeah, I actually met uh, met Paul before I joined because. Uh, uh, during the recruitment process, I, I came once to Barnsley and uh, and I had a, a good meeting with Paul. I mean, uh, we we share lots of uh, value, I think, and uh, and it was a it was good to meet him before coming here. And since I'm here, yeah, we we spoke to the phone, we speak to the phone all the time, we exchange on everything. I think we are quite similar. We are, we go straight to the point. So so yeah, usually when we meet, we meet with Paul, we know. Everybody knows what we want, and uh, we just meet uh, quickly, and uh, we get things moving. He does. He wants to to get the team as quickly as possible, and I want the same. So we are both pulling in the in the same direction. And we're off to uh, Hungary on a training camp on Monday. Yeah. Have you had a chance to speak to the players uh, so far before they go? Well, not yet, because I was uh, I was really focused on the recruitment, and I'm still focused on the recruitment. I uh, wanted them to to get the time to to come back here. And uh, I will uh, I will have a word with them tomorrow before they before they leave for the preseason camp just to introduce myself properly and uh, and have the opportunity to, to chat a little bit with each of them. And in your in your experience in football so far, just how important are these trips for the players for the new ones to bond with each other? And well, as you just said, I think it's really important because 
I mean, at the end of the day, football. Everybody talks about money, but it's also uh, it's also uh, a team that you have to build, a group of people who has to live together. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna play every three days, so these guys are, have to have to create a bond together. And um, a week of a pre-season camp is definitely the the good place to to do that. And uh, I'm sure I'm sure Paul will will do everything to to make sure that the player speak all together and something happened. You need the magic to happen. <laughs> Have you felt welcomed here so far then? Yeah. I've seen you've had a lot of messages on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, really, really warm messages and uh, I thank uh, everybody again for all the kind messages I received. Lots of humour as well. And uh, no, really, really good and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to have more time uh, at the end of the summer to discover a little bit more the area and and uh, the countryside as well. So, yeah. As well as that, I mean, you'll be looking forward to meeting some of the fans as well. Some of the fans have expressed an interest to come and speak to you. So. Yeah, I think I understand we, we have some fan forums and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to have a direct contact with them. And, uh, and uh, again, when the recruitment will be over, we'll, we will definitely work on the marketing, commercial, communication side. And uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll, uh, we'll develop more fan engagement with them. and. Uh, yeah, there is definitely a lot, a big community around around the around the club, and uh, so there is something to be done. And just finally, when the when the lads come back from Hungary, the, the preseason games will begin. I mean, that's what we're all in it for for the football, isn't it? Are you looking forward to the game starting? Yeah, I mean, I've never I've never experienced a game here at Okro, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to to attend to my first game here. And uh, yeah, as you said, at the end of the day, it's. Uh, it's football, so we are all waiting for the games, and uh, so looking forward for the season to start, the squad to be ready, and uh, yeah. Thank you.